Hello, Monsters of Anchor, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires. And part 11 of my Marathi campaign, where we're still fending off all the elves in the fucking world. Plus, now the Lizardmen and some greenskins. So, it's all kicking off. I mean, it all kicked off beforehand, but now it's kicking off even more. And I'm having to defend myself in multiple different locations. What I'm going to do, I think I've decided, is I'm going to get a Black Ark. Because I think I need it, to be honest. Uh, so we can recruit you. Moksha. Oh, I meant to do renames, I didn't. Oh, well, that's, that's pretty much that's pretty standard for me, really. Uh, so you can go Root Marcher. Uh, let's do... I mean, yeah, casualties captured posts, post-battle. And we'll pop you in there for the moment. And what do we have here? Okay, well, that's generally fine. I'm probably just going to leave you there for the moment. Um... Yeah, we'll we'll let you grow a little bit, and then we'll then we'll pop you out to do some stuff. Uh, that has cost me some slaves, but to be honest, we've got so much money at the moment. We've got so many slaves, and plus we've got some lizard men now. So the elves and lizard men are gonna have to quadruple bunk or something because uh, we don't have the fucking room for them. Uh, what we got going on over here? Right. We, well, we do have a lariel preparing to land, as well as we we have like we've sucker punched a whole shit ton of elves, but there's still even more of the fuckers left. Rare failure there for Ben. Sad times. Uh, I, I need... You know what I want is another assassin, but I don't think I can actually get one. I don't think I can get... Oh, I, you know what I need is I need... Um, um, uh, no, what's the building for the assassin then? The fuck's the building for the assassin? What do I need for an assassin? Uh... Oh, that one. Oh, the House of Assassins. I guess that does make sense. I mean, if you're looking for an assassin, the House of Assassins probably should be your first stop. Or it's probably going to be your last one, to be honest. What's this? Tom Wanks. An assassin mage has been captured in a recent raid. Which fucking one? Your lord desperately wants to make him their personal slave. However, this mage is a gifted prophecy. It may be beneficial to claim it as your own. So we can go, here's mine. We'll get a satchel of potions. I mean, that's not bad. Or alternative, we can go, you can have him. And, uh, I mean, I th think I want a satchel of potions. Try this. It was a seal from the blood of a famous Asso alchemist. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So basically, it's a potion of toughness with two more uses, which is pretty fucking legit. How long does a potion of... So that lasts for 21 seconds. Okay, yeah, he's mine. He's mine. I'll take him. Right, hit and run. So we got uh, more... I mean, I, I haven't actually recruited any shades, but... When I do, oh, when I, <laughs> when I finally get fucking round to it, oh, mark my words, it's going to be epic. Whispers of disobedience. It's not, Marathi. Chill the fuck out. You are so fucking paranoid, love. Next thing you know, you'll be saying the lizards rule the world. Okay, so we we sacked Skeggy a little bit. There is another army over here, so what I think I'm going to do is we go right. We're, we're, right, this is what we're gonna do. Lord of the Black Court. Gonna bring you round here. Ferocious. We're gonna bring you round here. We're basically gonna hit the Ziggurat of Dawn. I think is my plan. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. Okay, you're gonna take attrition there, but if you go there, you're fine. You are fine, aren't you? You're fine. Good. Good. Okay, I think. They are nothing but prey. Yeah, we're going to move you there. Hey, do you take attrition? I don't think you do, actually, do you? I think you're immune to it. Okay, so we're going to take you on. We've got armies all over the fucking... Oh, hello. Oh, you're all with Turanok and Trace. Didn't even realise that. All right, well, good. That is... That is helpful. They will... I do feel like my allies might be conquering Ulthuan for me while I deal with all the fucking armies, but never mind. I guess that's fine. I could. Where, now, where's that army from Alarial gone? That's what I want to know. Has one verdict. Death. Where's she buggered off to? Did she land and maybe go into ambush mode? I mean, she shouldn't be able to do that. It wouldn't be enough movement range, but I don't know where that army's gone. That's the only problem. So I'm just, I'm suspicious. 
Hag sorceress. Marathi's paranoia is rubbing off on me. I tame the untamable. All right. Such terrible concoctions. Ever onwards. Let's come down here. Just give us sight beyond sight. Oh, sword of omens that we don't have. Sacrifices to Mathlack. Yeah. Well, we're working on it. We're fucking working on it. Okay, we got. Don't have the bot carry that woods. Little strength. Uh, which I don't really have that. Income from settlement buildings is going to be super useful. Is there anything else that's going to give us income from slaves? That's more armor for dark shards, but meh. Campaign movement range would be good. Upkeep reduction for those boys. I don't think there's anything else that gives us slave income, is there? Because if there is, then holy shit. But I don't think there is. Is income from settlement building? No, I think we've got. I think we've got all the upgrades there, so that's fine. I mean, ward save, uh, I, I do have a lot of Sisters of Slaughter, so let's go for that one. I'm tempted to, like... I'm tempted for Lockheed to go on the attack. The only issue is, I I have a... The, the way you lose armies in Total War Warhammer is your army ends up out of position. And when it ends up out of position, that's when you get fucked. So I'm a little bit nervous about sending, my, like, even setting my army outside to ambush. Because the likelihood is, if we get attacked, what they'll if they spot us, what they'll do is they'll lay siege to Tauren Rock. And then they'll hit my army with multiple stacks. So I won't have reinforcements and I'll be screwed and basically won't be able to run anywhere. And uh, that would be bad, obviously. So, uh... So I may be being overcautious, but it's because one wrong step and I could be in a world of hurt because it would take like five or six turns to replace my army. And while that's happening, they are going to be just running, running rampage, running rampant. And I can't have that. You've moved, which... Okay, you've got a lot of Cyrus boys. Did you run away? I feel like you ran away. You ran away, didn't you? Following orders. Raise those sails. Okay, you come down here. You come down here. Ready to ravage. Black hearted dreadlord. That way we're both in a good position. You can do that. That will heal you up, won't it? It will heal you up. Perfect. You are, okay, well I haven't seen Alariel, so I'm assuming that she's dead or deadish. So, let's kill. No, but I can sink your stupid little fleet. You say that, and uh, yet, using magic us. well, that yeah, basically yes, basic yeah, lot lots of magic actually. Oof, a little burning heads, very nice. Doesn't do as much damage as I'd hoped, but never mind. So we're then going to pull back away from the enemy army because we've already barraged the shit out of them. Looking pretty good so far. Now we're going to pull back and then go the uh, the Bolt Throwers. Mostly hitting the Phoenix Guards, but we're also going to need to deal with these Larian Reavers as well. And we've also got a Flame Spire Phoenix. I hate these dickheads, so we're going to send Marathi over there to deal with that one. We do have the Doomfire Warlocks hitting, hiding in the trees over on the flank, just waiting for the chance. As soon as the infantry looks like they are fully engaged, we'll move out and destroy the enemy missile units. Moving over to engage that flame spire phoenix. Come here, you flaming turkey. Yeah, don't like it up them, do you? Marathi, Marathi just takes chunks out of shit. In comes Doomfire Warlocks and uh, Rocky. Charging directly into the foe. And doing a lot of damage. However, some Silver Helms have, like, charged into our flank and then tried to charge through the Dark Shards. So now they're trapped on the Dark Shards. I'm not sure what their plan was, um, but it's not a very good one because now they're getting their backs whipped. Enemy Mages, Enemy mages are least of your troubles, mate. 
Rocky is just tanking everyone. Fanny has decided to break her. She's, she's already used our health potion. And uh, now... Oof. Decided to uh, light a high elf bonfire, which did huge amounts of damage. 235 kills. Look at that. Holy shit. Rocky dealing with uh, Thian Dior. Eat him. Eat him. And the Doomfire Warlock's just mopping up, basically. Not much left. You can see the Swordmaster's Hoeth being knocked out there. Saw Sister of Slaughter coming into the rear of these spearmen who've been debuffed. More slaves, that's the important thing. The Chuck them in with the rest. Standard discipline. I don't know what the standard... Of, I mean, I do have re-banner too, so this does give the, the banners some slightly better um, stats, but I don't understand why it gives leadership and makes the unit unbreakable, because that unbreakable makes leadership completely pointless, so... Not 100% sure. Uh, Marathi's fearless, which means, I mean, how much, how much charge bonus does she have now, just out of interest? 155. Yeah, that's fine. That is a totally normal amount of charge bonus to have. Okay, so I... have to be careful here, because if you can reach me, you might be able to... Uh, so you can go to there, which means if I go here, we should be okay. I mean, we'd probably be fine anyway, but just, just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. I'm tempted to give you, I mean... I don't know if I want to give you a... Well, that does make you anti-large, does it? That's weird. Not that super... Well... No, I think I'm happy with Ariel. I like his chariot. I'm going to keep it on his chariot. A would-be traitor amongst us. And, I mean, you've basically got all the skills, so I'll, I'll make you a specialist, but I'm not super into it. And you get further for more weapon strength. Perfect. Okay, I think Arnheim should be fine. We do have defences coming up there. We've got defences at Tor and Rock as well. Uh, now, the Ancient City Quintex doesn't have defences, but I'm, I'm kind of... Yes. Um, I'm kind of okay with that. Now, what I would like to do is if we can, like, if we can conquer Lizardman territory down here, then I might, and this is a little bit ballsy, I might get rid of the walls because then I can whack in even more, uh, I can whack in the Black Roads, which increases uh, income from slaves by 5%, which would then boost up my income even more. So... It's not something I would suggest doing because if the AI the AI will like crawl across broken fucking glass to get to set settlements that don't have any defenses, so or walls I should say. So it's usually not a good idea, but could we? Ta I think is I. I think we can we can probably take the Eagle Gate. I think we just take a lot of damage taking it and. I think we need to take it easily with, like, multiple armies. So we should be okay there. Kelly, you can... I mean, the thing with you guys is you, you can't build any siege equipment or knock down the walls. So they'll always have the walls and you'll never have siege equipment, which makes that a lot... I mean, if I could have, like, some siege towers, I'd be like, no problem, we'll take it easily. But without the siege towers, it means, like, having to crawl up the walls and that's a pain in the ass. We'll get shot to pieces because they're fucking high elves. It's just... Ugh. Something, so speak. What do you want? A non-aggression pact. Uh, how much money do I have? Why Why do they never tell... Like, I, the information I would like is how much fucking money do I have? This is like when you get the loyalty thing. It's like, oh, it's going to reduce loyalty by five. But what loyalty does he have now? I don't know. I can't remember that shit. 
Well, I guess it's fine. I swear, if Alario pops up over here because he's been hiding in some trees, I'm going to lose my shit. Darkness falls on all one. <sighs> Do I want the Sword of Cain? To be honest, I don't really need it. I'm just going to, I'm going to whack it back. I just don't need it. Attacks oh, Jesus Christ! High beast. That's a lot. Of, that's Jurassic fucking Park right there. Uh, okay. 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 Dreadlord of Nagara. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Fucking ah. Uh. They have marched, which means they're all going to be tired, which at least makes my my life slightly fucking easier. Okay, let's take out Jurassic... Why don't I have... Can you only come in as reinforcements? Hang on. Time for a if you, right, if you're laying siege to that... Right, then we can get both reinforcements. Perfect. Okay. Jesus, that's like pulling teeth. The thrill of battle awaits. Oh, there's nothing worse than these armies. They're such a nightmare to fight. Especially if they're backed up by actual infantry. I mean, when it's just all dinosaurs, there's... there's it, it's not too bad, weirdly, but backed up by some Saurus, it's an absolute fucking nightmare because the dinosaurs will just rampage through your lines. Which is why we've got some black, uh, yeah, some black art corsairs in the front here because we, we, we're defending in depth. Basically, the dinosaurs will charge the black art corsairs. They'll end up in the Sisters of Slaughter rather than if we had a big long line and they, oh yeah, they can spawn in <sighs> those guys as well. Um, rather than if they charge into Sister Slaughter and end up in the Dark Shards, which of course is bad because we need the Dark Shards, Dark Shards, Dark Shards, Dark Shards to actually do the damage. We have reinforcements as well. Tom Wanks bringing his army in, including some of the uh, the Blood Rack producers, which is good, and the Spiky Hydras. Spiky Hydras moving in. And this is going to be an absolute clusterfuck because oh, it's just a. I mean, plus, of course, we've got these these feral cold ones in the rear of our lines, which is not particularly good. I told the crossbows to try and focus fire on them, and yet they seem to be just like, what well, I don't know, having an orgy? It's not the time, guys. It's just not, it's, you know, there's a time and a place for an orgy, and it's not fucking here. <laughs> Literally not fucking here. Anyway, so the, the front line is an absolute disaster zone with the Corsairs being torn apart, but that's their job, basically. They're there to slow shit down. Which then means the crossbows can open fire on everything else, which is good. Blood Rack Reduce, I'm trying to get them into uh, firing range, but their firing range is really, really weird, and so we can't actually get a bead on anyone at the moment. Fortunately, the Feral Cold Ones have decided to run away, which is good. Blood Rack Reduce is now moving in, and uh, there's a skink, big skink cohort here. Now, this is like a perfect... The Blood Rack Reducers do a lot of damage if you can get them to fire, like this. Holy shit. Yep, that's pretty good. That shot, though, I think hit the other Blood Rat Medusa, so never mind. Anyway, the Skinks are now running away. There's absolute carnage in the trees over here as Cyrus Warriors and Cold Bonds munch their way through Dark Elves, but that's fine. Not too worried about that. Crossbows taking out the Bastiliodons. Crossbows taking out, well, everyone, basically. That's their that's their job. Blood Rat Medusa's getting some lovely shots in there. They do a lot of damage very, very quickly once they're in a good position. Uh, they do actually have fairly good melee stats as well, but ideally you want them sat back, nuking big blocks of infantry, because they will do so much damage. More cold bonds being teleported in. Fortunately, they're not very good. So the Sister Slaughter should be able to whip them to death. Looks like the rest of the enemy army is now running away, and we're going to kill as many as possible, including that Stiggy Don. Down he goes. Although, of course, this is a settlement battle, so uh, at least at least everyone should be dead afterwards anyway.
Oh god, that was a clusterfuck. Search the place. Burn it all. Uh, oh, look how much sacking income though. I don't need it. So I'm going to take that. To the victors. And what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to leave <laughs> because if they decide to come back, and I can always just run away. Because I don't, I don't need the settlement. I've sacked it. Got some slaves. A monstrous triumph. Yes, I mean it's pretty good. Yeah, sure. Beastmaster. And now we can bugger back off. It's, uh, it's all good. Don't think we lost anyone, did we? No. There we go. See, that was fine. That was all good. Uh, you can, you can have that one. There we go. You are still, just a little growing, growing boy. And I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to go for Point Eagle Gates. Ready my swords. The Kraken Lord fights Which we can auto resolve. Good for nothing, pilferers. Yeah, that's me. I'm going to occupy Ready it because that way we keep it as intact as possible, and that way we can just sort of like defend it, which is all good. And then when Marathi can rush back. To Torren Rock, and we have like secured one of the gates. Sacrifices to Mathlack. So we're getting there. How's Malekith doing? He's just so all right. So he's taken, he's taken a province, and now he's just sort of like chilling there. We've also got the the Morselib's Howlers, who have taken a couple of settlements. So that's causing the High Elves some issue. We've also got Treachers arrived as well. So it's 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 all moving in the right direction. And I think I'm going to get blessed by evil, because that's just going to make our spells cheaper. And the cooldown reduction. I mean, the thing is, while I use Marathi spells, I think that Fanny spells are actually probably more destructive, and uh, so probably more useful. Because especially when dealing with High Elves, you want to deal with them while they're fucking miles away, so they can't get, so they can't, like, do as much damage to you. Rocky, you've got everything, haven't you? I mean, you could be indomitable, I guess. Right, we need to push these these lizards back. No, well, you know, everyone's got their problems. If I now, I, I'm hoping that most some of his armies will be down south dealing with Teclis, and if that's the case. We might be able to make some gains here. I mean, we're going to lose the Ziggurat of Dawn, but I'm okay with that. For blood. What desires? I'd be, I'd feel better defending it if I knew the Black Ark could come in as reinforcements, but I'm, I'm slightly concerned that they can't, so I'm going to hold off for the moment. Lock here. Is gonna get now. Oh, what do I want you to have? Treason has one verdict. Death. You know what? I'm gonna get. My, I, I need more slaves. So I just pack them in here. Pack them in here. I mean, look, look how much money I'm. I'm making twenty-one thousand at twenty at Titan Peaks. That's fucking ridiculous. Darkness falls on all one. Slaves. I mean, you know, just do it. Can you imagine if I... If it's, is it Clar Carond over here? Carond Car, that's the one. Because that's got the special building for dark, for the slaves, isn't it? Although I don't know if that's actually better than the Sanctum of Quintet. Because this increases income by 100%, which means that all of our slave income gets increased by 100% on top of that. So... We're just, we're just making stupid money, which I'm, I'm absolutely fine with. More corruption, more winds of magic. That does slave decline, but there's no slaves here, is there? So probably not a big deal. Adjacent provinces. Yeah, sure. Let's let's spread our let's spread our cooties in adjacent provinces. Uh, this is going to uh, income from slaves is just too good not to have. So of course we'll do that. And I'm not going to repair that because we're probably going to lose it. Not that that's a big problem. Your conquests strike fear into the heart. Yeah, yeah, I know. Get back in your box. 
Back in uh, let me guess. Oh, you know what? I thought that was I thought it was Alario, but no, it wasn't. It was it was someone else. Malachi might be about to have a bad time though. Pleasure cultist, Stephen flutist, pleasure cultist, lots of pleasure cultists. Um, who can blame them? We're having a rocking good time over here. By the cruel seas. Okay, there's a couple of stacks Misguided. down there, but there's nothing I cannot overly the concerning. I am the first sorceress. Oh, Lord Mazda Mundi's there. Now. And you know what? Wield they the didn't wild. retake the Ziggurat of Dawn. The only problem now being is that because they've got two armies here, what they can do is lay siege with that one skink... So if I were to, like, try and bring Tom Wanks out, they would be able to cause me all kinds of trouble. So what I need is really... What I need is Marathi. But I don't think she can land. Hmm. Death! Beyond even quiet. Okay, let's just go for a little little ride around Ulfon and see what we can find. With speed. Okay, so Safari's there. They've got a stack. That's not particularly fun. Lock here. Um, you... You're probably fine there. I can probably hold them at bay and then... Because I feel like... The elves are a problem, but I've kind of got a foothold here, which means they, they're going to have to funnel themselves into Eagle Gate, or come around Griffin Gate and into Torrent Rock, but I've got the defences there to deal with them. Where I don't have the defences is down here, where we've got sort of like multiple avenues of attack. If we can lock down Huatl, then the Lizardmen are going to have to come through that. Mind you, it looks like Teclis is pushing north. Okay, if you if you come out, can you actually reach? I don't think you can. I'm a little bit worried about you getting caught by Master Mundi because he can. These cold-blooded degenerates immediately. Yeah, rubbish, aren't they? Fangs and talons. Um, right. What? I mean, I can, I can lend support, can't I? I mean, I feel like Marathi can deal with Mazda Mundi, so what I could do, although you are recruiting stuff. I'm going to come down here and sort of see if I can goad him. In the meantime, voyaging. This is a little bit ballsy. Awaiting the prey. Dry land. Ferocious. Think you could reinforce Dread us from Lord there? I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Okay, the beacon of dawn is fine. That will increase chaos corruption down here, which will upset Mazda Mundi, which is good. Death to the Druki. You are going you know what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here and do some scouting for me so I can see what's going on. I am Malekith's will manifest. To be honest, 90% of Total Warhammer is, is one on the campaign map. We shall see. And it's all about putting your armies in the right place so they don't get fucking murdered. And if they do... Then that 10% of fighting your way out. Okay, our ambush was foiled, and apparently Ben, uh, apparently, uh, what, well, uh, John can't come in his reinforcements, so. Uh, we're going to have to fight that. Is that a problem? That's a lot of Cyrus, isn't it? That's a lot of Cyrus. Or gold chevron as well. Um, okay. No magical support. Just a lot of fucking Cyrus. In fact, way too many because they're just going to outflank the shit. Oh god, that's not good. 
That's not good. What do you got? Apotheosis, harmonic convergence. Okay, at least that's not too bad. Oh, good, you've got Anzapol's Black Horror. Well, that is... That is a fucking car crash of a battle, that one. Well, that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.